some players out there? Uh, I'm comfortable. Um, just, you know, uh, can't make all the shots, so I'm going to miss some, make some, uh, but just having the confidence to shoot the next shot. And going off of that, uh, just how far have you seen Chris kind of grow this offseason, the fact that there's really no drop-off with either of you guys? I mean, he's grown tremendously. Uh, as you've look, looked at him over the years, uh, this year you can really tell he, he brings the energy, uh, the athleticism, the enthusiasm. Uh, he's the heart, heart of the team. Uh, the voice behind everything, uh, leads on defense, rebounds, uh, makes n ones, and as you've seen uh, previous game, you know he knocked down a corner three. Alan, what was it like coming off the bench for you, and then is that a role you can maybe grow into, and how does that kind of work for you? Uh, I mean, coming off the bench isn't really a big thing to me because uh, it, it's me and Simo at the three three spot. So I mean, it's. It's vice versa. Either one of us could start. Uh, it could be either way. So, just you know, us putting us together as the best three, trying to be the best three men in the country. Just we just getting in, following our roles, and uh, trying to do as we can to uh, complete the task. Yeah, I mean, question for both. Like, what does that do for you guys as a team? You look down your roster. You guys are pretty flexible at seemingly like, every position. Yeah, just uh, knowing that we got tremendous depth uh, as a whole, as a team. Um, you know, the, the lineups can change at any moment. Um, different guys will start, but just knowing, you know, we're a team at the end of the day, so just putting putting ourselves together, uh, you know, trying to be the best in the country. Chris, I know you just talked about not mattering who started, who comes off the bench, but, I mean, Monday night was your first career start. What was it like to kind of, you know, hear your name in the starting lineup and, and, and get, the, get, get that first uh, – Possession. Man, it was, you know, it was a milestone that, you know, I got to check out my list um, after the game. And, you know, Al, you know, Al's been helping me a lot, you know, recently was just, you know, just the mindset and, you know, like it's, it's always going to be competition because, you know, it's, it's the doggy dog world. But, you know, me and him coming from the same state, you know, we got brotherly love that a lot of the other, a lot of the other people don't have, you know, for uh, certain, you know, on certain teams and everything. So, you know, just, just being a starter for the first time in my career is definitely a milestone and, I just can't wait to continue, you know, just showing everything everything I got this season. So. How have you, how you guys developed y'all's friendship? Because, like, you know, we see you guys, y'all seem pretty close to each other. Like, how's that friendship developed over the years? Uh, I mean, we knew each other from back being back home. You know, we always been kind of cool. So just, you know, getting here, getting to Auburn, and uh, being together, being around each other every day, you know, it's just, it's just group. <laughs> Question for Alan, better being a senior and been around here a while. What's your take on what you guys need to get better at from game one to game two? Um, from game one to game two, I would say just um, knocking down more shots, um, being more consistent from the three-point range, um, and then also just uh, making making more shots, creating for others more, and then uh, making sure we, we box out to, to end possessions. Chris, if it's a dog eat dog, what kind of dog are you and Alan? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> that dog world. We're definitely pit bulls. We're definitely pit bulls. Most definitely pit bulls. We're not on chihuahuas. <laughs> definitely pit bulls. <laughs> definitely pit bulls. <laughs> you got anything else, these guys? <laughs> <laughs> on that, on that, you got to end it. You got to end it.